All right. Hello, everyone. How are you today? It's Kay. So uh, this is the 12th of April 2022, and this is on Tuesday. So uh, yeah, I hope you're having a great day. And uh, let's check some charts together with Ichimoku and also my strategy today. So uh, this week we have many big news and uh, previously there was a CPI in the US and the turnout was negative and that's why USD is sold right now and JPY, AUD and some other currencies are bought. So it looks like we have some rough markets but uh, for the last two days um, JPY has been weak and all the JPY pairs are going up. So uh, yeah, with that in mind, let's check some charts together today. So uh, yeah, let me change screen. All right, and I start to see comments now. Thank you for joining everybody. So before signing anything here, a quick disclaimer as usual. Uh, this content is all for educational purposes only with my own experience. So if you take trades, please do uh, with your risk management. And also, since this is live, if you can please uh, follow the rules and guidelines on the live stream, that would be great. And then recently, there are so many fake accounts of mine using my name as a fake account and spamming others. So please, please be careful. I don't do Telegram, no Instagram, no Telegram, no Facebook, no direct messages. So just be careful, everyone. So... Yeah, until I start, I, until I get in topics, um, let me just hi, say hi to everyone so that um, I can wait for more people join here. So uh, let's see. All right, Alex FX, thank you for joining. And Herdika, thank you for joining as well. Great to see you. And Lukman also, thank you for joining as well. Great to see you. Oh, he asked, does Ichiboku Sanjin or Hosoda Goichi use multiple time frames? No, he doesn't. Back then, there was no multiple time frame concept. There was, there were only, he was only using daily or the weekly time frames. It's just myself that I use multiple time frames with Ichimoku. All right, Vipin, thank you for joining. And Johnny K, good to see you too. Thank you for joining. And Masold, good to see you too. Ek Hargao also, thank you for joining. Oh, he says, I joined Prop from today and in just two hour pass, uh, or in just two hours, past the phase one because of USDJPY volatility in a 15 minute chart. Yeah, it's been very uh, volatile on the JPY pairs, especially USDJPY and some other JPY pairs are very volatile. So, but glad you passed the phase one. I think you have the verification on the next phase. And uh, I think, uh, yeah, if you keep discipline, in this way, then uh, you should be passing it. Yep. All right, but good luck. Thank you for joining. And uh, Marwan also, good to see you again. And Asif also, thank you for joining as well. Great to see you as, as always. And uh, Marco and Hui Fam, thank you for joining. David and John On. Uh, Kirin and uh, Homan for joining. Mahesh, Movie Hero, KH for Zen. And uh, 416 and Tick William, thank you for joining as well. And Austin KOM and Rashmi, thank you for joining everybody. Great to see you. And Augustine, thank you also. Thank you for joining. Okay, so let me check some uh, charts now. So I will switch to trading view. So, um, oh, before. Looking at the trading view, since the market has been spiky by the news, let me check the news website first. Let me review what's happening by the news. So I will turn to the news website. So um, this week we have big news, many big news. And today, just earlier, there was a um, CPI, Consumer Price Index, X Food and Energy in the US. And the turnout was negative. It was worse than previous worse than consensus and therefore USD is right now sold you can actually tell by the strength chart if you go to currency strength chart you can see after the news release USD is sold so much the orange 
is USD, it's going down. And as a risk hedge, JPY has bought. The light blue is JPY. And also AUD. And New Zealand has been strong today also. So, and Euro is also sold. So right now, the most volatile market is um, Euro AUD. So we're going to look at that first. And then check some other JPY pairs. Well, let me get into topic now. All right, I see keep people coming, keep coming here, joining. Thank you for joining. All right, great to see you. VN3, Levinas, and Roger, Joseph, and Min, Rajko, and Son, Kevin, and TikTok, and James. Thank you for joining as well. Great to see you here. Okay. So, uh, yeah, so let me first look at the AUD and Euro, or AUD and USD also. Let's check these two pairs first because. At the moment, this is the most volatile market. So first, I look at the AUD, Euro AUD. Okay, Euro AUD, and here is a daily time frame. And as I have been mentioning, the market has been resisted by this descending trend line. And it looks like today, there was a bounce also, and the market is continuously bearish. So... I'm still looking for the sell chance, but today I couldn't confirm the selling edge, so no trade for myself. But I will continue to watch this pair to sell. But in terms of daily chart, the uh, Kijun Sen is flat, and both single span B and single span A are flat also. So in Ichimoku way, this is range. So the market may reverse back to Kijun Sen. But once again, the market has been resisted by this descending trend line. So there is a good chance that the market will be resisted this time and continuously bearish. And also, this is also about Ichimoku strategy, is uh, the Chikou Span bounce. When you see this Chikou Span bounce, um, the market can be, you know, continuously down also. And sometimes Chikou Span keeps tracing the previous candles or Chikou Span will be resisted or supported by the candles and go up and down. So I can see that the Chikou Span bounce here also. So uh, I think this is also a good confirmation that the market is continuously bearish. So this is in a daily time frame. And let me check the 4 hour chart. So usually what I do is I check the either daily or 4 and see which one of the time frame is trending. And if I see both time frames flat, then I will simply stay away. But here, this is the 4 hour. And in the 4 hour chart, I can exactly see that the market is within the Kumo now. And Chikou Span above candles, or this is very close to candles, Chikou Span. And Kijun Sen is up, Tenkan Sen is down. And this is the range market. So for the last uh, couple of hours, or today, has been bearish. But uh, it doesn't mean that the market keeps going down. It might reverse or it may range and continuously go down this way. So in this case, I will look at the descending trend line as a downtrend confirmation. And if I sell, if I look at the, if I can confirm bearish in either in even lower time frames like 1 or 30, then um, I can trade, I can be in the market. But uh, 4 hours is flat and daily is flat in terms of Ichimoku. So uh, if you sell, uh, you have to be have a good risk management. It might reverse backwards soon. So that's the Euro AUD. And the second strongest market right now is AUD and USD. So let's check the AUD USD. Okay, so AUD USD, and here is the daily time frame. So today is bullish. There's a big bullish candle. This is outside bar in the price action. But um, this is still range as per Ichimoku. Uh, single span B is up, single span A is down. So basically, this is squeezing Kumo. This is considered to be the flat Kumo. You can't trust this single span B angle in this case. This is flat Kumo. And Kijun Sen is flat. And here too, you can see the Chikou Span bounce. So 
in the long term, this will be bullish. The market was supported by the Kijun Sen and it may go up continuously towards the previous resistance level around 0 0.67, sorry, 0 0.7658 level can be expected. However, in the daily still it's flat, so we can't confirm the trend up, so we can't follow the daily direction. So in this case, I look at the lower time frames and see if it's trending up. So I will look at the 4 hour chart. In the 4 hour chart, this is a bit bearish because I can see that the Kumo has been bearish, but now single span BA flat. A is a bit down, but uh, this is basically flat Kumo still. And Kijun Sen is down, which calls span below candles. So this is more of downtrend. The market may touch the Kijun Sen and then keep going down this way. So in this case, this is contradiction. Daily is bullish, 4 hour is a bit bearish. So when I see this, I will simply stay away. Or I simply wait until the market breaks Kumo and Chikou span above candles and Kumo twist bullish to be able to look for buy chance. So most likely today, I will away from AUD USD also. But uh, like this, I always look for the trending market in either daily or four and then break it down to the lower time frames. So, yeah, but these two are the most volatile market at the moment. But uh, yeah, let's check some other charts. JPY has been uh, strong. So, uh, I mean, you, uh, JPY pairs has been strongly bullish. So now let me check some JPY pairs. So I will start from Euro JPY and switch back to the daily time frame. Um, Euro JPY is bullish because Kumo Senko Span A is bullish now and Kijun Sen is also pointing up and that's bullish and Chikou Span above candles. So when you see this Kijun Sen up, Kumo up and in this case most likely the market breaks resistance because uh, in the long term midterm there are more buyers and sellers in the market. So. I expect the market breaks resistance of 137.50 and if I can confirm the uptrend also in the mid time frames like um, 1 hour 30 then I will look for a buying edge. So I will mark this one Euro JPY is bullish now in the daily chart. So let me check that 1 hour now. Yeah so this is basically what I do in 1 hour it's a bit retracing back to Kumo, so not uptrend. This is a reversed in wave. So this is bearish in price action. No sign of bullishness. And most likely in 30, it's also bearish. Yeah, 30 minute chart is also bearish. We can see some consecutive bearish in waves in 30. In this part, it was a bit range. But um, here, the market broke the support. And this is... And also market broke the Kumo and this is a bit bearish in 30 minute chart. So I will wait until the market comes above Kumo also and Kumo twist bullish. And then Kijun Sen turns bullish, which calls span above candles to look for buy. And then expect the market breaks resistance further upwards. But if, it is, if this one doesn't happen today, then most likely I will stay away. So now I screen the I screen the pair right now like this. So after I screen, you know, this thing won't happen in short hours. It may take maybe I don't know, maybe four hours or five hours for this to happen if the market continuously bullish. So simply I stay away for a couple of hours and come back. And if I see this situation in a 30 or 1 hour, then I will look for the buy chance. So for now, I will just stay away. Oh, and I can see that there are many new members in the live stream today. So um, let me just uh, briefly introduce my strategy. You can actually um, find the full explanation of my strategy when you come to 
my web page and hover over free download and click on KTS, K's Trading Strategy. Click on here and you can open the new web page and you can get the free download PDF of my strategy and also you can see this introductory video of my strategy too. So if you're new to my channel, please first watch this video and download the PDF so that uh, you have good understanding of what I'm doing right now. Yeah, if you're new, I think this is all confusing, maybe. Uh, multiple time frames I'm using Ichimoku is also a bit complex. Plus, multiple time frames is made, uh, you know, complex too. And uh, entries in the lower time frames is also a bit complex. So uh, if you're new, please first come to this web page and get the, all the basic information of my strategy. So uh, now let me go to some other JPY pair. So next one I will look at is USDJPY. So yeah, um, USDJPY, I have been looking for the buying edge, but uh, still I couldn't enter because simply I couldn't find the entry confirmation. Um, day chart looks beautiful bullish. Uh, yeah, the Kumo is bullish and Kijun Sen is bullish too. Market above Tenkan Sen, which corresponds above candles. So, this is a bullish market. I expect the market continuously goes up in this direction. So, now let me check the one hour. In one hour, also, this is a bit retracing back to Kumo now. And there was a like a double top look like shape. And the neckline has been broken bearish. So from here, it may go down or it may be range for some, uh, some minutes or hours. So unless, so in this case, uh, also Chikou Span below candles too. So I would wait until the market breaks the resistance from today, which is 125.75. I wait for the breakout and then look for the buying edge. So... You can set the alert above that level, above 125.75 on USDJPY, like this. Simply set the alert, and once it triggers, you can come back to the chart and get the entry confirmation and expect the market breaks resistance this way. Um, but uh, I don't really use alert personally. You can set the alert, this is just my suggestion. But for me, I don't use alert because uh, I don't want to disturb by the alerts when I'm doing something else. Or um, if I'm, let's say, eating dinner, then uh, alert triggers on my mobile and I feel like I miss a chance. This is like formal, but uh, I feel like I missed a chance. If I can't monitor, if I can't pick the chart, so I simply I will prefer not to set the alert, but simply come back a couple of hours and see if this happens. But uh, if you're comfortable with the alerts, then you can do that and uh, wait for the trigger. So that's the USDJPY. But this one is also nicely bullish in the daily. So um, we can continuously watch. And then um, let's see. The next JPY pair is the pound JPY. Pound JPY in the daily chart, unlike Euro JPY, USDJPY, if you look at the Kumo Kijun Sen, they are flat. Yeah. So Euro JPY, Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat. So this is not trending. So the market might reverse backwards. So in this case, I simply stay away. Well, I will look at the 4 hour also, but the 4 hour is also flat. You see Kijun Sen flatness today. So um, I won't touch this one. So I will go to the next pair, JPY pair, AUDJPY. So AUDJPY also in a daily chart, it's flat Kijun Sen. And single span A is also flat. So this is considerably flat. So when you, whenever you see flat single span A or B and Kijun Sen, that means um, the buyers and sellers are 50 50 uh, balance. So if the market is 50-50 balance from uh, between buyers and sellers, and what that means is that 
Um, the price is above Kijun Sen, so in the mid term, Kijun Sen is mid term. In the mid term, buyers still dominant, buyers still winning the trade. But since sellers buyers become 50 50 level, um, to make the, long, make the long story short, that means uh, there's not enough power to break the resistance. So today and yesterday it has been bullish, but uh, in any time it may reverse backwards to equilibrium in the midterm. So um, the market may reach to the resistance around 94.34 and then reverse backwards too. So yeah, from this reason, I won't really, you know, trade on this one. I will simply stay away. Uh, I will actually simply stay away on the daily time frame. But I can look at the 4 hour chart also. If 4 hour is bullish, I will follow the 4 hour time frame. So here is a 4 hour. And yeah, in the 4 hour chart, this is like almost, almost. But uh, yeah, Kumo is bullish, which is nice. Tenkospan A is turning bullish, but uh, there is a gold cross of Tenkan Kijun Sen and Chikospan still touching the candles. So technically, in the four hour chart, also this is considered to be flat. And uh, this is where you have to be patient because, um, yeah, you may expect that Chikospan break, but uh, like I mentioned previously, sometimes Chikospan traces the previous candles. And if it does, then the market may reverse back to Kumo or Kijun Sen like this before the breakout. So from this reason, we have to wait for the clear breakout of the Chikou Span. And also uh, Kijun Sen turns bullish to be able to prepare to buy. And uh, since this is four hour chart, uh, most likely it won't happen within today. So um, I will come back this pair tomorrow. So that's the AUDJPY. So I will I won't put the flag on this one because it's still flat, considered to be range. So uh, but uh, when I was still newbie, I I was buying here, or I wait for the breakout of the, or the resistance to buy, and I watch and monitor the chart. But now I don't. I don't wait for the breakout because, once again, the buyers is set as 50-50 now, as mentioned on the Kijun Sen and Kumo. So, I prefer to mo watch a monitor USJPY and EURJPY at this timing. So that's the AUDJPY. So let's move on to CADJPY. I'm gonna cover two more JPY pairs and then get back to your comments. So uh, please bear with me. So here is CADJPY daily time frame. It's flat also. Flat Kumo flat Kijun Sen shows that the market is range now. Range, it's uh, it, momentum is bullish, so buyers still dominant in the short to mid term to long term. However, the buyers and sellers are now 50 50. So um, since buyers still dominant, this is bullish. But um, there is not enough buyers to break through the resistance. So that means it might reverse and back to Kijun Sen. So um, yeah, CADJPY also, uh, there is no trend in the daily. And if I look at the 4-hour chart also, there is no trend. In terms of Ichimoku view, there is no trend. Uh, single span A is bullish, it's good. But Kijun Sen is flat and Chikou Span touching. But we have to wait until Kijun Sen turns bullish and Chikou Span takes away from the candles to be able to look for the buy chance. And it may take a couple of hours. It may take, um, it won't, it may not happen today and it may happen tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, in this case, I, I simply stay away. But um, one thing I just noticed is that the Chikou Span is, has been touching the candles for the last, yeah, or four or five or six candles in four hour. So here, the Chikou Span might be supported by the candles and goes up this way. 
um, or it calls upon keeps tracing the previous candles and go down this way. And in this moment, we can't really tell which way it's going. So we have to wait for each call spam break, takes apart from the candles, and then prepare to buy afterwards. It's my recommendation. So this is not a good time to buy yet. Uh, just like the previous call spam, you, if you can look at this uh, here, the uh, the call spam close, gets closer to the candles and looked like it was bouncing and goes up. So it may have gone up this way, but it didn't happen. Uh, Chikospan kept tracing the previous candles like this. So here too, Chikospan still too close. So this is not a good uh, buying edge as Chikospan viewpoint. And when you can really buy is where Chikospan takes away from the candles, which was here, which is presented, presented by this big bullish candle. This is where each call span gets apart from the candles, and you could buy here too. So here again, each call span is with the candles now, so it may continue to trace just like before, or it may take up, take apart. We have to wait and monitor in this uh, in these situations. So yeah, I think Cat JPY is a um, good example to monitor Chikospan uh, strategy. Yeah, but I will simply stay away for now. And then the last one is Swiss Run JPY. So looking at the daily time frame, Swiss Run JPY is now bullish. I can see that the, uh, the Kijun Sen is technically bullish. And uh, also Kumo has been bullish too. So this is now strongly bullish. It broke the resistance level also. And there was a inconsistent and bounce yesterday. So the market has been bullish. And if I look at the 4 hour chart, 4 hour chart is now Kijun Sen flat. But Kumo is nicely bullish. So it may touch Tenkan-sen in this case. It may continue to range until the market touches Tenkan-sen and supported by the Tenkan-sen and goes up be expected and when the market breaks resistance then uh, that will automatically uh, make the Kijun Sen turn bullish and I think that will be a great buying edge so we can wait for that to happen uh, or simply you can go down to the one hour and one hour shows that the uh, yeah, Senko Span B is up but Kijun Sen is now flat Chikou Span touching so here are two we have to wait until Chikospan takes away from the candles. Otherwise, it may keep tracing the previous candles in one hour, and the market may continuously range. So, yeah, we, we have to wait for the Chikospan away in this time. In the 30 minute chart, is also range too. Um, oh, and this is called Y wave in 30 minutes. And this is considered to be a tricky market to be in. Like Y wave is the Ichimoku way to say that this is um, expanding range. Like the market goes up and down. Um, but uh, it's becoming wide in volatility like this. So this is technically Y wave. So the market may reach to the resistance of the Y wave. And then it may reverse backwards. So, yeah, in this case, I don't really prefer to follow 30, but simply I will continue to monitor in one hour and see if Chikou span away from candles or not. If it does, then I will look for the buy chance. If it happens within the today, then uh, I will be looking for the buy chance. So that's a Swiss run JPY. So, uh, but looks like market has been active but uh, not really good timing to trade right now. And uh, we have no big news afterwards today. There's no big news in tomorrow. There will be rate statement in New Zealand. So if you trade New Zealand pairs, that will be uh, the topic. And CPI 
of the Consumer Price Index in UK, and also um, Governor Kuroda's speech on BOJ. So JPY pairs can be volatile, and also there is a rate decision in Canada, interest rate. So uh, yeah, the, 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 these pairs might be affected. But uh, for today, there is no big news. So uh, in that sense, we can simply trade by these technical confirmations. If there's a big news, then uh, these technical confirmations can be uh, disrespected. And uh, yeah, you can't really trade in that way. So uh, yeah, so let me check some comments now. Thank you for joining everybody once again. Great to see you as always here. And I hope you're having a great day today. Okay, let me see. 416 Street says, when market gap spread also gets crazy, so don't use super tight stop loss because spread will weak out and bad price won't. Yep, that's true. If you have the too tight stop loss, then um, yeah, you can get too many losses along the way. So, um, yeah, and let's see. Chike says, what do I think about the Swiss franc JPY? Yeah, this one is in the Y wave. So I will wait for the one hour Chikou span away from the candles. And uh, Kijun Sen turns bullish. And also single span B is up, but single span A turns bullish to, to look for the buy chance. It's what I will do. All right, thank you for joining, everybody. Great to see you. Okay, so let me see. Yeah, USD pairs. USD is weak at the moment because after the big news in CPI. So I think, uh, yeah, let me check in the daily time frame. Euro USD is still ranging, close band touching. And uh, let's see. USD CAD is also ranging. So I won't really touch this one. And USD, uh, this is at the support. But uh, since Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, there is no enough setters to break the resistance. So it may reverse backwards to Kijun Sen is my view. That's pound USD. And let me check some other USD pairs. Um, AUD USD, I covered it. Um, the Kijun Sen bounce is happening in the daily chart so it may continuously go up um, yeah I think that's it but in this case I won't uh, look for the buying edge just because it's been supported by the Kijun Sen uh, because technically this is still range so um, the market may range afterwards in daily time frame Okay, so I says um Euro Swiss front, please. All right, Euro Swiss front, let me check. Euro Swiss front is here. Um let's say in the daily time frame it's range, simply speaking. But uh in the short term, uh since 18th of March, it has been bearish. This is bearish in waves since 18th of March. So um in this case, uh let me check the lower time frame. Let me check the four hour. Oh, okay, in the 4 hour chart, it's bearish. This is nice. Chikou span break just happened. And Kumo down, Kijun Sen down, so this is good. This is a downtrend, so sellers are dominant and sellers are coming into markets more. And that's why this is down. So it also broke the support. Previous support uh, 1.0120. And most likely, lower time frames are also down. Let me check one hour. Yeah, one hour chart is also down. Kumo down, Kijun Sen down, Chikou Span below candles. So yeah, this one we can look for the sell chance. So what I usually do is I go down to the five minute and simply I look at the price action first. Well, I can look at the stochastics and also Bollinger Bands as my favorite indicators. But simply I look at the price action and price action has been range now this is a p wave 
I can see that this is P wave. So most likely, I wait for the breakout of the resist of this uh, the trend line. And once it breaks, I think that will be a great sell chance. Yeah, that will be my view. Um, yeah, let's... Stochastics looks like Stochastics is a bit divergent now. The highs in the price are lower. But in Stochastics, um, highs are a bit higher now. So I can see some divergence. So when there is a dead cross in the 5 minute chart, then the market may go down this way. So that will be my view. So I simply wait for the P wave break. And uh, yeah, that will be the entry edge. Yeah, looks like Euro Swiss run looks nice so far. Okay, let me see. Okay, um, Shamoro says, uh, okay, could you please analyze Nasdaq? Okay, let's check. Let me unstuck. We're gonna, we're gonna come back to this pair. Uh, hold on. So let me split the window into two. And on the left, we continue to monitor Euro Swiss franc. In the meantime, on the right, let me continue to check some other charts. Yeah, this is how I manage uh, monitor charts at the same time. So let me check uh, Nasdaq. Um, all right. Nasdaq in the daily chart is now complete range. Um, no trend. Yeah, so no trend to follow. Let me check the weekly also. The weekly is now exactly into Kumo, so I would simply stay away in this case. The market might be spiky, and uh, this is where people tend to lose. So yeah, I would stay away from this one. Okay, Paul says, uh, please check gold for me. Okay, let me check gold, XAUUSD. And starting from a daily time frame. Oh, looks like daily just broke the resistance of the previous 9065.56. And it looks like it's bullish now. So this is another example of a Chikospan trace, the previous candles. So you can see that the Chikospan yellow Chikospan has been tracing the previous candles. So as long as it traces, this is bullish. So I think buy will be the right call right now. But uh, let me check the 4 hour. Okay, I can see the 4 hour chart is not bullish. Kumo is bullish. And Kijun Sen bullish. Chikou Span above candles. So uh, we can follow the 4 hour direction in gold. So this is very good also. Let me flag the gold also. It's bullish nicely. And let me see. Okay, in 1 hour chart, it's flat now. Flat Kumo, flat Kijun Sen. And uh, Chikou Span touching still. So um, we have to wait until Chikou Span away from the candles to be able to buy. Otherwise, as long as Chikopan traces, it may be bearish in the short term. That's gold, XAUUSD. Let's see, Homan says, uh, Dear K, in your strategy, if price is out of Bollinger Bands Deviation 2, do you consider it as one of the confirmations or you consider it as overheated market? And don't take it as a confirmation. Uh, I still take it as a confirmation. Yeah, when um, when it exceeds the deviation two. So, for example, like uh, in terms of Euro Swiss run. Uh, previously, let's see. Like, uh, so this is nicely band walking. The market has been down. In between division one, two in the five minute, this is very nice confirmation. But uh, let's see. Let me check some. Oh, looks like there is not not much of uh, exceed. Oh, maybe here. 
there was a uh, there was a time where the five minute exceeds the band. But still, I can take this as a confirmation. I can take this as a confirmation. If I see other confirmations here, then I take sell. So, yeah, it doesn't really matter for me whether it's within or outside of the division two. Yes, it is overheating market when it, the, when the market exceeds the division two. This is considered to be the overheating market, but uh, you have to remember that this is only in the five minute chart. In the five minute chart, when daily is up or daily is trending, and other uh, time frames, higher time frames trending at the same time, then in the five minute, you can see overheated, oversold, overbought markets. But uh, it's okay because uh, we are following the higher time frame directions. It happens. let me check some other comments now thank you for joining great to see you here okay gold is up yeah gold is bullish now it's about to break resistance but we have to wait for the resistance breakout clearly otherwise it may be worse oh let's see let me check some other comments now um Okay, Marco says, uh, oh, Joseph says a uh, Euro Pound. Euro Pound, I think I covered it. Hold on. Euro Pound, uh, let's see, in a daily time frame, this is the complete range. So simply, I would stay away. It's ranging. The market just going up and down, ranging in a daily. Simply, I would stay away in this one. And Marco Polo says, uh, Hi K, Ichimoku is perfect in trend, but it also useful in the range. Do you have a strategy for the range market using the level of the market flat Kijun Sen Senko Span B, or you just skip range market? Um, there is a way to trade in a range market. When it's range, Kijun Sen becomes the mid price. So taking the Euro Pound as example, so the green one is a Kijun Sen. In my chart setting so you see kijun sen has been capturing the mid price of the range so whenever the market gets away from the kijun sen it reverses backwards in the range whenever it goes away returns back to kijun sen so you can use this strategy and um, if you can enter on these highs and lows on the swing highs and lows in target to Kijun Sen, you can technically trade in this way. But personally, I don't because uh, this is a choppy market and uh, it might be tricky. So I, do, I prefer to follow the daily or four trends. But uh, technically, uh, you can actually use this range strategy with Ichimoku Kim Kohyo. And um, in Forex pairs, uh, you can also actually watch the monthly or weekly trends, uh, weekly time frames to be range also in Kijun Sen. In that case, you can just uh, take the higher time frames like monthly, weekly, and when you see the market reverse back to Kijun Sen, and if you can, you can follow the downtrend and target down to Kijun Sen on the weekly or monthly. That's possible too. So it depends on which time frame you look at. In Forex, I prefer to follow daily or four, but uh, I can also set target by the weekly or monthly Kijun Sen when it's range on these higher time frames. Okay, so yeah, let me check some other comments now. Mahardika says, uh, okay, which stochastics indicator do you use in TradingView? Uh, this is a regular stochastics I'm using. Uh, let me see, this is... Yeah, just regular stochastics. If you can just type stochastics here on the stochastics. Yeah, and I use a default. 
Tasix, which is here. And my settings are 30, 10, 10. I'm using person K30 and person D10 and slowing 10. This is my stochastic setting. And it has been working great in the lower time frames, especially 5 minute chart. The crosses works really good. Yeah, I have tried many other parameters like 7, 3, 3, or 10, 7, 7, or uh, 21, and also I think it was 21, 8, 8. I have tried many settings, but I found that 30, 10, 10 is the best. Especially crosses and diversions, you can capture it very nicely. Technically, it works in higher time frames. But uh, simply, I use this in the lower time frames because um, um, lower time frames like five is my entry confirmation, and that's why I use it in the five. I used to use this in the thirty-minute chart, and in thirty-minute chart, it works really well. But in the thirty, now I use Ichimoku, so I don't use the six. I only use it in the lower time frames. But it has been working so well. Oh, Alex, thank you for reply. The setting of the, uh, yeah, stochastics. Yeah, 30, 10, 10 is my setting of the stochastics. Okay, Flyman says, I hope you can share your thoughts on AUD USD. All right, let me check. AUD USD. Uh, okay, it's here. So, AUD USD, again, this is range. In terms of Ichimoku Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat. So we have to hold until the market goes up, which corresponds bounce on the candles, and look for the buying edge afterwards. Yeah. Okay, uh, it says, uh, could you please check oil also? All right, let me check oil. But let me, before, Check the Euro Swiss run and if it breaks or not. And it looks like it hasn't broken yet. Yeah, so patiently we have to wait. This is why you don't want to jump into the market. I say that this is bearish in higher time frames, but in the five, it may break against major direction and the market may continue to go up. So this is where we have to be precise on the entry. And also, I can see that the stochastics dead cross is about to happen. Oh, I'm sorry. I, maybe you can't see the stochastics with my monitor. Let me just uh, cancel my window temporarily. So you see the, the stochastics is also showing divergence now. Now, the price, highs in the price um, are getting lower, but the highs in the stochastics is getting higher and this is divergence and when you see the dead cross which, about, which is about to happen um, the market could go down and that's what I'm expecting right now so this is also a good confirmation yeah, yeah. all right hi again <laughs> so uh, let me check the WTI Okay, let's WTI today is bullish, but in terms of Ichimoku still range to me, it broke the Kumo bearish once, but now it's going backwards, and this is the range. So no trend and no entries. There, there was a support. The market was supported at 93.42. This is more of like a descending E wave. So we have to wait for the break. And it's about to break, but uh, about to break out, but uh, we have to wait for the candle close. Yeah, if this candle close in the daily becomes above the trend line, then um, it may go up continuously. Otherwise, um, the market will be still bearish, 
and it might break the support. So, yeah, I will wait for the close today and come back to market tomorrow. And see which way the market goes. Yeah, let's see. All right, thank you for joining, everybody. Great to see you. I see many more comments now. So let me try to cover as many as possible right now. So Arnold Sun says, uh, and because of CPI, the trend going can actually, you know, break through the Kumo, or uh, it can change the whole market direction. It can be very tricky, this news. Oh, Isabella says, uh, I love how calm you are. Oh, thank you for thank you for the comment. Yeah, unless you're calm, you can't trade. Yeah, we have to be calm. We have to. Um, I would say we have to have some distance psychologically between yourself and the market to be able to calm. To be able to be calm. Yeah. So yeah, let me check some other comments now. It's about to break the P wave, but not quite. Maybe in some few minutes it may. So let's see. This is on the Euro Swiss front in the five minute chart. If you're new to the live today, because we can confirm the daily chart is down in the mid time frame, one hour thirty, is also down. But I'm expecting the 5 is also break the P wave bearish. And when it really happens, that will be a good entry chance. So I'm just waiting for that to happen. But we have to wait for candle close. Let me... Yeah, Shamoros, you're welcome. You're welcome here. Lian says, um, Hi K, what, what is your plan trading for Euro AUD? Uh, Euro AUD, let me see. I think I covered, but uh, let me. Euro CAD, right? Oh, sorry, Euro AUD, sorry. Euro AUD, uh, in a daily time frame, it's still flat to me. So I wait for the candle close today. If it closes like this bearish, and from tomorrow it may go down this way continuously, because that will be the Chikospan bounce. Chikospan res resisted by the candle. So from tomorrow, I will look for the sell chance. But if it doesn't close uh, like this, if it closes like Doji, then it, it may reverse back to the daily Kijun Sen. So today is bearish. On Euro AUD, but uh, I'm not gonna jump in this case. All right, yeah, thank you for joining everybody. Great to see you. Gold has a break. Okay, gold broke the resistance now in the in one hour. Let me check. coming back to gold. I will switch to one hour. Okay, yeah, looks like gold also broke the resistance. So this is nice. Uh, this candlestick is going to close in about 4 minutes. So make sure you wait for the candle close. Within the 4 minutes, it may close below the previous candle, like this. And when the market sees it, uh, there might be some sellers coming in. And the market may reverse back to Kumo. So here we have to wait until until we see whether the close becomes above or below the previous high. So here is also uh, we need some patience. This example. In the meantime, Euro Swiss run still hasn't broken the P wave yet, and uh, but uh, there is about to dead cross. On stochastics, so I think that will be a nice one to monitor continuously. But um, 
when so in this case this is where i monitor the chart so i say i screen chart three times per day um in the morning afternoon evening basically and i i give intervals like a three to four hours in between and that's basically what i do every day but uh when i see this the last confirmation or when i see this confirmation to uh, is about to happen like this, then I will sit down on the PC and monitor the chart. And when it really happens, then I will just enter the trade. So I think this is a um, good example for this uh, breakout in confirmation to happen. And in the meantime, let me check the 5 minute chart on gold also. Okay, in the 5 minute chart gold, a gold cross of uh, stochastics is observed. So that's one of the confirmations. And breakout resistance and now band walking, so that's second confirmation. So I would have to wait for one more confirmation to buy. In the 5 minute chart in gold. Okay. So, okay, and Euro 6 run is breaking the P wave, but uh, once again, I wait for the close candle. Uh, it's closing about 1 minute 38 seconds. So I wait for the candle close to be exact entry point. Yeah, Arundel Sun, you're welcome. And thank you for joining, everybody. Great to see you here. As always. Alright, thank you for joining. Great to see you here. Uh, Kevin says, uh, does one really need advanced Ichimoku like Kyushu legs? No, you don't have to. Kyushu legs, or I call Kyushu Ashi, is uh, one of the Ichimoku strategies. Which is written on the original book. And uh, it can give you some extra confirmation for the market trend continuation or reverse but uh yeah personally i don't trade by the kyushu ashi i look at it but uh, i don't really trade by that so simply i would stay away i mean i look at it but i don't really yeah so for, focus so much ekragao says if you enter long gold now where would you place your stop loss? Yeah, in this case, if I place the stop loss, that will be either here, but this might be too wide. Because this is gold, uh, this might be too wide. So, uh, yeah, I have to consider where to put the stop loss in. It might be, um, if this is too wide, then I will put the stop loss on the previous minor bounce, which is here. Uh, 1964.57 will be the stop loss timing and uh, buy right now. Yeah, that will be the scenario. Okay, but uh, I prefer to trade Euro 6 front than gold because gold is still flat in the in the daily. So okay, Euro 6 front broke the P wave bearish clearly close below the P wave and dead cross observed and also um, yeah there is a band walking or a squeeze started to happen and expanding happen right now so from here the market continuously go down can be expected most likely so this is where I place a sell and if I place sell here then um, the stop loss is going to be let me see the most previous high will be 11 pips this is too tight for the stop loss so i will take the second previous high which will be here 27 29 28 pips of stop loss this is reasonable so i will take the stop loss here 27 pips and place the sell but uh just in case before that um i will have to Make sure that the 
higher time frames are still downtrending. Because um, when I trade, um, higher time frames like one hour may be flat. But let me go to daily again. And uh, sorry, uh, in a four hour chart, okay, still, this is bearish. It's nice. Kumo down, Kijun Sen down, close from below candles. It's nice. It can continue to go down in this case. And then in one hour, it's also down. Okay, this is nice. Kumo down, Kijun Sen down also. And uh, Chikou Span below candles. So this is nice. So I would enter in the five minute chart and put the stop loss at 1.0134 and enter here now. But uh, when you trade, once again, you know, this is all based on my experience. So please enter trades at your own risk, please. Okay, and since this is past one hour now on the live, I guess I will end the live. But uh, yeah, I was yeah finally glad to be able to get down to the lower time frames and talk about the entry confirmation like this. So yeah, hopefully you can we can run profits along the way. So uh, yeah, we'll check again sometime yeah later, maybe today or tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow, sorry, there is no live. Tomorrow, I have to. I will be outside of home. So, no live tomorrow. But uh, I will see you on Thursday and uh, discuss what happens. So, I will put the vertical line here to remember our entry. And uh, when it goes down continuously, on Thursday, I will talk about the, how to trail the profit. And when it goes backwards, then I will talk about where to exit on Thursday. So, yeah, um, I will see you on Thursday to check if your entries, if your exit timings are correct with me on Thursday. So, uh, yeah, that will be the topic. Okay, so uh, once again, thank you for joining everybody. I will be ending the live. So, uh, but uh, yeah, basically, uh, there are many events tomorrow, big news around. So yeah, make sure that you check news before you trade. And uh, if there's big news soon, within 30 minutes, then simply stay away is my advice. Okay, so uh, yeah, I will hope you have a great day and see you on Thursday. So until then, please stay healthy and stay safe and stay gold. Bye-bye for now. Matane, thank you.